at that time all we had was NWA and everybody thought everything coming out of LA is gangster rap you know like let them do that and let us do something else Easy. good life was like an escape a release it was like home something like that couldn't happen in any other city in any other part of the world at any other time it was perfect unmanufactured unprocessed hip hop is raw hip hop that's where you go and the hip hop and the hip hop clan and the hip hop clan funky drink and the hip hop clan and the hip hop clan the back and the hip hop clan and the hip hop clan i mean man we're in the middle of south central where it goes down on a daily everybody was able to come here and just create wipe your feet at the door get down together as brothers and sisters and and smash Rules of the good life was not being whack. Don't be whack. Styles reigned supreme back then. So many different styles. Tim was the man. His style is one of the most original to ever breathe on a microphone. Medusa, the queen of LA hip hop, the mama. When you hear Charlie Tuna's voice, you're like, this, this guy is dope. He's gonna be big. Pigeon John is my favorite MC. His work has so much emotion to it. Cut chemist. He's just an amazing DJ, turntablist. I might have been the, the first white guy in the, in the good life. Maybe, maybe not, but it sure felt like that. Abstract Root is one of my favorite MCs. He looked like the South Central Jimi Hendrix type of vibe. I recognize the founder of all that good life. It's, that's all of us is his sons. And the energy that was created by the place spread out sort of worldwide. It became a thing where people were hearing about the good life all around LA. You even had situations where like Ice Cube was saying like his dudes down in the videotape certain ones. <clears throat> Shannon Doherty, when 90210 was huge, she was in the parking lot in the good life and that's when you started thinking something is happening here. I remember this is crazy when Fat Joe got booed off of the good life stage. All the labels would come up there I would say probably about five, six MCs, we got major record deals. And we were all like under the age of 21. We was trying to be the best lyricists on the planet. And then for a small time, we did that. But then after that, what do you do? I don't know. I don't think it was ever meant to actually be, you know. It, just, it was too it was too raw. It was too, like, untainted. Whether I'm rich financially or not, I've, all my dreams musically have come true tenfold. If I could meet God right now, I'd be like, and he was like, yo, you want to go back to the earth and change some things, man, and fix yourself good life would not be one of the things that I changed.